And in your story segment tonight, after Kevin Ochien completed his secondary education, he took up braiding in order to earn a living. But soon discovered that just one job wasn't enough to meet his financial needs. Uh, that is how he started his many hustles. Mm. We'll kiss Danyabwa with that story. The streetlights are still on when a lone figure makes his way out of Mui Imara Estate and onto the streets. Mimi naito Kevin Ochien. Kwa majina ya usani ni KVJ. Na muka sa kumi, latest. Sa zingine nikiwa na nililala mapema na zanika muka mapema ya hapo. Nichukue vitu za kuenda kuuza mandazi ni peleke njia git. Nianze kupika mandazi. Kiuzia wateja. The mandazis fly off the shelf as night turns into day, and Kevin's little business shed on the roadside turns into a hive of activity. Sometimes to meet a meet a client up in Maradima, so I have to get a bit jam with Pungu. I have to have two mandazis. I have to spend a certain amount of time with Musafi. But the moment the last mandazi is gone, Kevin folds up his equipment, moving it to the store piece by piece. His workday isn't over. He is only heading to his next job of the day. Every item at the Olive Green Salon is carefully selected to make a cozy haven for Kevin's clients. After years of toil, Kevin has finally managed to open his own hair salon and demand for his services is high. A client walks in shortly after nine. She wants her dreadlocks washed and retouched. I had just gotten a baby. I used to make my hair in town. So after I met, uh, after I met him, since he was closer home, I started making my hair here. And I liked his services and continued on even afterwards. When another wants to get her nails done, music plays in the background as Kevin works. That too is his work, a track he recorded and a video he edited himself. One discovers that Kevin is a one-man, one-stop shop, turning his hand to as many activities as he can to earn a living. Fresh out of high school, Kevin found work at a company at the airport, but he didn't stay there long. I was able to get a job, because I wanted to pay the bills. But I was able to get a job, and I felt the buyer. I was able to get a job, and I was able to get a job. He was a waiter for a while, even a construction worker, but that project soon ended. When he couldn't pay the bills, he decided to try braiding hair. Maradai magieti ya imara kulikuwa na salon ya mremba likuwa na itua edina. Kumbe kulikuwa na mteja hapo, anangwa ya kusongo wa twist, na hakuna mtuwa kumsonga, ilikuwa imibakia sasa hamuke haende. Nilipotu fix moja, neatness na speed yenye waliona, walibastu kucheka, alafu hata zilu zinyo likuwa meanza kufix. Years of hard work saw him eventually open his own salon. But at the beginning of 2018, when Kevin engaged his fiancée, he realized he needed another revenue stream and decided to sell mandazis. I was the only time I was able to get a slice of my hand. I was able to do something. I was able to get internet in the salon. I was able to go to YouTube. Kuangalia, maelezo inyo olekua na peana, si satisfactory. Mandazi zaki zilikuwa ngumu. Jota mini lionja there for the first time. Aka indelea haku lose hope. At the end of the day, anakuambia, isijapata a profit. Ama nimepata tu like 50 bob, akajikaza. At the end of the week, tena mfuko mbili, tatu waka indelea hivo. Paka nao, akokuwa mfuko six. And all this while teaching himself to edit his music videos on software he downloads from the internet. The money he makes from all his hustles is just enough to cover the basics. But Kevin knows that as his family grows, so he may need new ideas. But doesn't he tire of it all? Nachoka. Because natumia damu. Lakini unangalia malengo. Unajua wanasema iti ataftai hachoki. Na kichoka, asha pata. Mpango inyeko ni 
tupanue biashara biashara yake ipanuke mimi am employed biashara yake ipanuke mpaka ifikie mali hata mimi ninatoka ku employer nimemjoin tufanye biashara pamoja and so Kevin's work continues late into the night until the last client is served there's always a new song a new hairdo a new skill he can learn and more money to be made a survey by the Kenya National Bureau of Statistics found that at least 7 million Kenyans are currently unemployed and out of this about 1.4 million are desperately seeking employment opportunities it is for this reason that Kevin and other young people like him have chosen to seize every opportunity available in every moment of the day in order to secure their futures Wilkinson Nyabo Citizen TV your story